Welcome back. So Chrome OS version 136 has been rolling out to most Chromebooks this week. In this video, I'll give you an update on what's new. Spoiler alert, there's not too much, but perhaps that helps speculate what may be coming down the line. More on that later. I'll be on the HP Chromebook Plus X360 14B to show you some of these new updates. And when comparing back to how things were before this release, so back in Chrome OS 135, I'll be on the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34. The CX34 has turned out to be a good choice for showing the Chrome OS 135 build. As some of you have pointed out in the comments, there is still a small number of Chromebooks, including this one, that are waiting to see the Chrome OS 136 release roll out to them. Getting into the Chrome OS 136 update now, and the main change here looks to be enhancements to QuickShare. Based on the poll I ran on the community page of the channel, it looks like not many of you use this, and I'm one of them as I tend to rely on Google Photos and Google Drive for what I need to share. QuickShare gives a quick way, as the name suggests, to share files between your devices, say your Android phone or your Chromebook or Windows PC. So looking on the older 135 build, if you haven't turned QuickShare on already, come into settings, and if you just search for quick, you should find the turn on quick share option here. So I'm just gonna click into that. And then you'll see you've got the option here to just toggle to turn it on. So go ahead and click onto that. To then use quick share, click down by the clock in the bottom right, and you'll see this shortcut to use quick share. If we click into that, we'll then see this interface appear. And the important bit for the change we're expecting is that you can see here through the interface, it says the Chromebook's gonna be available to other devices for five minutes. So I'm on the HP now with the updated 136 build. I come to turn on quick share and we actually get the same interface again. So the update to the interface we're expecting should be to change this five minutes of visibility to 10 minutes. So it turns out it's actually behind a flag. So the fact that it's behind a flag to move to this new interface suggests to me that there's gonna be some update to 136 in the upcoming builds that will turn this on. So let's close this. Let's go to a browser window and let's go to the flag setting. So just type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And then when you've got the flags window, if you search for quick, you should see this option for quick share V2. So we're gonna change that to enabled and we're then gonna get prompted to restart. So with the flag enabled, if we click down by the clock and we click to turn quick share on, we now get this new integrated menu, which is a much nicer way of doing things. If we click to turn it on, you see you get the option to be visible to your devices, your contacts or hidden or visible to everybody, importantly now for 10 minutes. And if we click to turn that on here, we now go back to that more familiar interface and we can see that, yeah, previously where it was saying five minutes, of course, it's now saying we're visible for 10 minutes. Next, we've got an update for organizations running Chrome OS. So as I shared earlier in the week, there's now admin initiated Chrome remote desktop sessions. So rather than relying on the user to accept the remote desktop session, the new feature automatically accepts the remote connection after 30 seconds if it hasn't been declined. So next up, I've noticed on Chromebook Plus devices, the rounded corners on apps are back. So this has been a bit of an odd saga dating back to Chrome OS 133, where we first saw these rounded app corners rolled out to Chromebook Plus devices. And then as noted in last month's video on Chrome OS 135, they seem to disappear. But yeah, they're back again in Chrome OS 136. I'm also still not seeing the image content search update from Chrome OS 135 work as expected. You may have seen this in last month's video. Please do drop a comment if it's working for you. I'm sure there's bug fixes and of course we get the Chrome browser update, but otherwise that seems to be it for the headline changes that have been publicized or that I've noticed. So what's going on? The recent Chrome OS releases have felt very incremental and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Last year though, we saw two major updates to Chrome OS in June and October, which had a lot of media attention via the Chromebook showcase events that I covered on the channel. So I'm really hoping we see at least one bigger release this year. In the comments, some of you were speculating that we may be seeing less major updates to Chrome OS due to priority shifts at Google between antitrust lawsuits and the anticipated work to further integrate the Android kernel into Chrome OS. 
But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to learn more about last month's Chrome OS 135 release, that video is on the left for you to watch next. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm's choice for you is on the right. Cheers.